because I wasn't mature enough to handle the things that I have. So I want you guys to know that 25 is not old and that you don't have to be in a rush to achieve your goals. Let things happen when they happen. And there's some things in life we're not in control of, right? We may have our goals, we may have things that we want to achieve, but we're not in control of when they will happen. And most of us, let's be honest, we're just sheep. Like we just do what we see other people doing and we don't really step outside of our comfort zone. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. So in today's video, we are talking about 20 things I wish I knew in my 20s. For those of you who do not follow me on the gram, I don't know why you guys don't follow me, you guys are giving me hater vibes. <laughs> joking. I turned 31 last week. Yeah, baby. So I feel like this was the perfect time to make this video talking about 20 things I wish I knew. Also, every time I do a Q&A, people are always asking, me like what would you tell your younger self and I guess this is what I would tell my younger self so I'm just gonna go through 20 things I wish I knew in my 20s and it's currently 175,000 degrees in London today I've got my studio lights on I hope that I don't beg to death in front of you guys but I'm gonna run through these and I hope you guys take away something from this let me know down in the comments below what's the main point that hit you that you're definitely gonna work on or take away from this video so let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing I wish I knew in my 20s was to slow down and smell the roses. Stay present. I know you have goals. I know you have dreams. I know you have things that you want to achieve by the age of 25. I know you have things that you want to achieve by the age of 30, but literally slow down and smell the roses because life is moving. And as we're getting older, your parents are getting older, your grandparents are getting older, your friends are getting older, and you have to try the moment there have been so many people who have lost friends along the way lost family members lost parents along the way and I don't believe in having regrets and I know that some people wish that they may have spent more time with their loved ones or their friends or their family and now they can't get those times back there were times for me when I was in my 20s and when we would come home from church my mom and my grandmother would be in the kitchen like clockwork every single Sunday after they make the food they'll sit down they'll eat it and more times I would be in my bedroom just being antisocial and I would sit there sometimes thinking there's gonna be a time when my grandma's not gonna be here and I won't be able to get this time back but I was too self-absorbed and too stuck in my own head and in my own feelings all the time to really stop and really observe observe what's going on around me and cherish the moments. So I would definitely say number one is to slow down. Like everything that you want to accomplish is going to happen and you being anxious or worried or in a rush is not going to make it come any faster but you are going to be sad, you're going to be miserable. Like just have faith that everything that is yours will be yours and everything that belongs to you will make its way to you. Yes, you definitely should work hard, you definitely should have a good work ethic but I think it's really important the way in which you reach your goals. In what mental state do you reach your goals? It's important the way you reach your goals is what I'm trying to say. So slow down and smell the roses. Understand that you're going to get it. Be easy. And that's definitely what I would tell myself. Like, it's going to happen. The second thing I wish I knew in my 20s and something I want to tell you guys is beauty without a kind heart is merely decoration. This is something that I did know in my 20s, but something that I want to make so, 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 so clear to you guys. I always strive to be beautiful inside. And that was always my focus, especially in my 20s, to be a kind-hearted, genuine person. I understand that the world itself is superficial and they are so, you know, people are shallow. Like, let's be honest, people are shallow. People do judge us based on what we look like. And I'm not saying that you have to choose one or the other, but people that are beautiful, that aren't beautiful inside are actually very ugly. And you may see those people getting all the attention, they get all the guys, they get this and that and that, but that's because the guys that are attracted to that are just as ugly inside as that girl is. And obviously I've met people that are beautiful physically, but their spirit is just rotten like bad vibes. Being in the industry that I'm in, you 
get to go to a lot of pretentious parties. I personally don't like it because yes, I fit in aesthetically, but my spirit doesn't fit in with these people who are superficial and shallow and think because you're at a private members club that you are somebody important. Like when I'm out, I'm me. That's what I can say. When I'm out, I'm just me. I'm not like, guys, check out my followers. Look how many followers I have. Check what I do. Check out what I've been able to accomplish. Check out this, check out that. Like more times, my friends or the people that I may be out with, they may be like, nah, do you know, really like, blah, blah, blah. but I would never, I never go out with my accomplishments. I never lead with my accomplishments. I never lead with, oh yeah, this is who I am. Do not know who I am. Like relax, like chill, like be humble, small. None of us are anything. Humble yourself and chill the hell out. That's what I want to say to people. Chill the hell out. It's not that deep, sweetie. It's not that deep. So beauty without a kind and a humble heart is many decoration. And I think the best, best collision is when I meet beautiful people, the beautiful, kind and sweet personality. There's a few people, but one person that stands out to me, I don't know if I should mention names. I'm gonna mention that because she's my girl. But Maya Jama is obviously hugely successful. She's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, but whenever you talk to her, whenever she talks to anybody, you would think that you're talking to your homegirl. She talks to strangers like they're her long-term friends. And I love that about her. I love that about people. And that is definitely something that I adopt. I talk to everybody the same. Even if I've only known you for five minutes, I'm gonna crack jokes. I'm gonna be up on you. Like I'm gonna be up on you because I don't care. Like So I think I've labored the point too much, but work on being beautiful inside out and when the two beauties collide that's what makes you a beautiful person i get the word beautiful a lot and i know that people are not just talking about my physical appearance and when i call someone beautiful it's everything it's not just the aesthetics it's how a person makes you feel. So work on making people feel good, whether they're the lowest or the highest. Treat everybody the same. Work on being beautiful. Beautiful is such a beautiful word. Being pretty and being beautiful are two different things. Being pretty is aesthetic. Being beautiful is wholesome. The third thing I wish I knew in my 20s was to, let me take a sip before I pass out. My mum bought me roses for my uh, birthday and I'm over there, they're so lovely. They're so pretty! The first thing I wish I knew and what I would like to tell you guys is to stop trying to prove yourself. My auntie passed a few years ago and a WhatsApp status said nothing to prove. It was something, 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 nothing to prove. And I kept racking my mind. Obviously I was a lot younger when she passed away and I was kept on racking my mind like, what does she mean? Nothing to prove to anybody. And I think that the older that we get, I don't know, okay, let me gather my thoughts. The reason why I didn't really understand what, what she meant and who she's really talking about is because I realized how much we do things with the intent to prove to somebody something, whether that's to prove to our parents, whether that's to prove to our jealous cousins, whether that's to prove to our friends, to prove to our ex, to prove to this person, to prove to the person that bullied me, or just to prove to social media. We don't actually realize how much of what we do is influenced by the need or the desire to prove ourselves to somebody. That's something I wish I knew in my 20s. You have nothing to prove, sweetie. And even if you proved it, it wouldn't be enough for them. And the truth is they already see your value. They already see who you are. They already see that you're worthy. They're just pretending not to see it or they're seeing it and they're jealous of it. And you have nothing to prove to those people. Just live your life, be you, be genuine, be authentic. Stop trying to prove yourself because they don't matter in the grand scheme of things. The fourth thing I wish I knew in my 20s was that 25 is not old. 25 is not old, sis. 30 is not old, 40 is not old. But I wanna specifically talk to my girls who are 16, 18, even 20, 21. You don't have to have your life figured out by 25. When I was 25, I was still a child. I still fought like a child. I still acted like a child. I was not a grown up at all. And there were so many things I thought I was going to achieve by the age of 25. And of course, there are some people that do achieve certain things, like the Kylie Jennings of this world. Like, she's not even 25 yet, is she? And she's like, 
she's an, she's an anomaly but what i will say is that 25 is not old and i don't think i would have wanted to have my life figured out by 25 because i feel like after that i would have been bored when i think of someone like kai jenner who has everything she's got two kids now she's got the private jet she's got the business where do you go from here apart from down honestly that's the way that my mind thinks and that's not me being pessimistic, but when you get everything so young, what is there to live for? Like, what is the purpose of this apart from to give it all away or to fall from grace? I'm so glad I didn't get everything when I wanted it. I'm so glad I didn't, I didn't get everything by 25 because to be honest, I probably would have ruined it because I wasn't mature enough to handle the things that I have. So I want you guys to know that 25 is not old and that you don't have to be in a rush to achieve your goals. Let things happen when they happen yes work hard let the chips fall where they may that there's some things in life we're not in control of right we're not in control of our timelines right we may have our goals we may have things that we want to achieve but we're not in control of when they will happen and that's one thing that we have to let go and let god really but 25 is not old 30 is not old 40 is not old 45 is not old and you should know that you're not expired I think as long as you're still living, that there's still hope for you and that you shouldn't write yourself off because you're 40, 50, 60. Like, that as long as there's breath in your lungs, you can have and achieve whatever you desire. The fifth thing I wish I knew when I was 20 is that there's a time and a season for everything. There is a time and a season for everything. Sometimes it's just not your season. Sometimes it's just not your time and it's okay. There was a time for me to move out. There was a time for me to have a car. There was a time for me to be in a relationship. There was a time for me not to be in a relationship. There was a time for me to blow on YouTube. There was a time for me to grind on YouTube. There's a time for me to not be able to travel. There's a time for me to be able to travel. There's a time that I wasn't able to afford luxury items. There's a time that I can, I can just go to a shop and just spend, buy what I want. Literally, there's a time for that. But do not feel bad that your time is not here, sweetie. There's a time and a season to be, do and have what it is that you want to have. The sixth thing I wish I knew as a 20 something year old is that attention from the opposite sex means absolutely nothing. It's not currency. You can't buy a house with male attention. You can't boost your credit score with male attention. You can't raise your self-esteem with male attention. Trust me, I tried. It's fleeting and it's irrelevant. Whether someone is giving you attention or not, who gives a rat's ass? Attention is fleeting and there's always gonna be another girl that he's gonna be showing attention to. Most of you guys know my story. Grew up without a father, was always seeking male attention. It didn't stop because I gave my life to Christ. Like, I still crave it so badly. I still craved attention. I wanted to be paid attention to. That's because I grew up being ignored. That's it, that's basically what it is. What I'm saying is that at the end of the day, it means absolutely nothing. Someone messaged me the other day and they said to me, can you talk about jealousy? And I said to her, what about jealousy do you want me to talk about? And she said, I'm jealous of my friend because she gets more attention than I do all the boys like her. I'm going to make a video on what I want women to know about beauty. And I say that now because a lot of women that don't get the attention that beautiful women get think that it's the be all and end all of life. Trust me, it's not more attention, more problems. And more times, the guys that are giving us attention, we do not want those ones. It might be nice for the time being, but we don't want them. And it's more trouble than it's worth. I won't get into that in this video, but male attention is like monopoly money. It's not real can't cash in, can't buy. You only need attention from one person. And I think that social media, especially for women, makes us want to get the attention of many, many men, many people, but specifically many men, where you only truly want the attention of one person. And all attention is not good attention. The seventh thing that I wish I knew as a 20 something year old, which I did know because I was definitely abstinent in my 20s, <laughs> most of it. <laughs> pretty much all of it. Sex is not love. And just because a guy wants to sleep with you does not mean he loves you, does not mean he respects you. It actually means he doesn't respect you. That's the funny thing about it. Any guy that wants to off your knicker, off your pants, it does not respect you. And sex is not love. Like I said, growing up without a daddy, growing up being ignored, I just wanted attention. So I always thought that, okay, if a guy wants to sleep with me, then he loves me. Then he finds me attractive. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> Absolutely not. Could not be further from the truth. Do not recommend. <laughs> sex is not love and love is not sex. And just because a guy wants to sleep with you does not mean that you are loved. The eighth thing I wish I knew in my 20s is to find your tribe and to find your tribe early. This is something I wish I did and that I was more focused on building friendships with girls than chasing after men. <laughs> because I look at some people that have amazing friendship groups and I wish that was my case. I'm a floater, so I have different friends in different places, but my friends have friends. So I wish I built my own community of friends, not just one here, one there, one there. I wish I had my tribe of girlfriends and I wish I invested more into those relationships. And I'm not gonna obey my mum, but my mum didn't really give me a good example. My mum probably, only as of recently, she just turned 60, shout out to my mum, has got one close friend. But I never saw my mum with friends ever because she was always so busy about family. She was busy with other things other than friendships. And I wish, what I wish I knew is that that you should definitely be intentional about building a solid tribe of friends. I left my primary school friends in primary school, my secondary school friends in secondary school, my college friends in college, my university friends at university. I only speak to one person from university, but I wish I built my tribe because they would definitely would have helped me in this later years. Of Number nine, similar to eight, is quality friends over quantity of friends. As much as I have been a floater, I have always prided myself in having a lot of friends or knowing a lot of people. But when it came down to it, the people that I knew, they're not my friends. I had a bad habit of calling people that I thought were my friends, my friends, and they're not my friends. I'm pretty good at a lot of things in life, but choosing friends isn't my strong suit. And so I was always going after quantity rather than quality. And now I think that I can say, I'm not too sure, but I have a handful of friends, literally I can count my friends on one hand, but they're quality people. They may not be a tribe, but they're a few people that I can call on if I did need something. So yeah, quality of quantity, don't go for the crowds, go for the quality. And it may only be one friend, but if you have just the one friend, make sure that person is quality. Number 10, I wish I knew in my 20s was to be more adventurous. Even in my 30s, I wish I knew this, but being more adventurous, taking more risk, whether it's traveling the world, whether it's doing things out of the normal. I think a lot of people want to follow the status quo. And most of us, let's be honest, we're the sheep. Like we just do what we see other people doing and we don't really step outside of our comfort zone. So I would definitely recommend to you guys to be more adventurous, whatever's on your heart to do, whether it's to move to a different state, move to another country, visit different places, try different food, try different hobbies, activities, whatever it is, just do it. Be adventurous, be spontaneous and don't wait for people to be spontaneous sometimes you have to take the lead. The number 11, what I wish I knew in my 20s was that university is the biggest scam of this life. For me anyway, I can only speak for myself, okay? If university did you well, then cool. But for me, university was a big scam. I wasted a lot of money. I wasted a lot of time. I remember being in my second year of university and there's this girl called Yannick. Her blog is called I Dress Myself. And I remember being so like, I wasn't jealous, but I was mad at myself for being in university and watching her blog take off. Rewind. She dropped out of college and her blog took off. And I remember being so like angry, like, why am I in university? It's not what I want to do. I want to do what she's doing. So I sat at university for four years. There was two years and then a gap year, I took a gap year, which meant to be a placement year. And I finished my degree on the fourth year. And I wasted so much money. I was taking out maintenance loans when I lived at home with my mum and spending that money on clothes that I, I have no idea where they are. And obviously you have to pay back that money. I wasn't thinking ahead. But more than the money wasted, I wasted my time because a lot of you guys don't know, I'm actually a fashion designer by degree. I have a degree in fashion design from the University of the Arts London, which is London College of Fashion. I am a designer. I can make clothes. I learned how to sew in college. So if you're American watching this, we have primary school, secondary school, college, and then university. University is the last one. I learned how to sew in college. So I didn't necessarily need to go to university. I went to university for the name and for the degree. Obviously I'm not in that anymore. 
and I will say there's things that you learn in university that may be life skills. I didn't need to go to university to learn life skills, or maybe I did. Maybe I needed the structure. Maybe if I dropped out of university, I wouldn't be where I am today. Who knows? Maybe I needed to learn the work ethic. Maybe I needed to learn deadlines and working towards a goal and all that kind of stuff. But I still feel like university is a scam, especially for creative courses. If you are trying to be a doctor, a lawyer, a scientist, a pharmacist, whatever that is, you definitely need to go to university. But we are in the age of the internet. And honestly, there's so many things you can teach yourself. Check out Skillshare. I wish I went to Skillshare University instead of going to university, but that's my opinion. And that's not to deter those of you who want to go to university, but I would say, think about your choices. Take a year out from college before you go into university and figure out what the hell you want to do because there's a hell of a lot of money to waste and there's a hell of a lot of time to waste too. The 12th thing I wish I knew in my 20s was don't take things so personally, Brini. I'm a sensitive little squirrel. I'm a sensitive person. I have a soft heart. Even though I have a hard exterior, I have a soft heart. And I think that the people in my life haven't always been the nicest to me. Cry me a river. They haven't always been the nicest to me and I'm so sensitive. I used to take things personally and I used to feel personally attacked. <laughs> But one thing I would tell myself is don't take things personally. Most of the things people do is a reflection of them and a reflection of what they're going through in their life and it has absolutely zero nothing to do with you. It's easier said than done, but understand when you grow up and you realize that most of the things people do has nothing to do with you. So I'm not gonna take it personally. Also, for those of you who are wanting to start something or even create something online, listen, anything anyone says, don't take it personally. They don't know you personally. People don't know you personally. They can get the hell on. I'm not moved. I don't really care about what people think about me. I do care more about what people that know me think about me. Y'all can kick rocks. <laughs> I'm not gonna take it personally. And I think it takes a long time to get to the place of like, okay, I'm not gonna take this personally. I'm gonna let it roll off my back. And sometimes you have to be like a duck in water. Let it roll off your back. Let it roll off your back. Don't hold grudges. One thing I'm really grateful for, and it's really crazy to say, I'm grateful for a bad memory because I forget everything. If we fell out two years ago and I saw you again today, we could hug and everything would go back to normal because I've totally forgot what happened. That's a blessing. It's a gift and a curse. But in this instance, I don't hold grudges because I don't bloody remember what you did to me. <laughs> The first thing I wish I knew in my 20s is it's okay to change your mind. We, especially with the internet, we want to be right so bad. Like, we want to be right. We want to have all the right answers. We want to, like, feel like we're so smart. And that's why when I look at young people giving advice, and I still consider myself to be a young person as well, so someone that's older is obviously looking at me thinking, yeah, really, you're going to learn. But that's what life is about, right? Certain things I believed or I stood heavily 10 toes down when I was in my 20s, I don't really believe that now and i don't mean about changing like your fundamental beliefs i feel like that's problematic if you have fundamental beliefs and then you all of a sudden change there are certain things that i'll never change that i would always believe however there's certain opinions that i had that i just don't have anymore and it's actually okay for me to change my mind and to have a to have a new to have a new perspective on things so don't worry about being right there are certain things you should believe in four years ago that you don't believe anymore it's totally fine it's totally fine to change your mind it's totally fine to change your mind about what you want to do for your career it's totally fine to change your mind about that boyfriend that you've been in a long-term relationship with that is going absolutely nowhere it's actually okay to change your mind about where you want to live it's okay to change your mind even if you stood 10 toes down deep in it it's okay to change your mind it's actually okay not to know everything and you don't need to know everything you just need to know what's next you don't need to see the whole staircase you just need to take the next step what's the next thing i need to do in this situation you don't need to know everything it takes the mystery and the fun out of things knowing everything take it from me that tries to know everything it takes the mystery and takes the fun out of just being a novice not knowing being ignorant sometimes ignorance is bliss like god let me be blind you lead me i don't need to know everything you don't have to be perfect it's okay rest the 15th thing i wish i knew in my 20s is to learn to let things go it's not that serious nothing is that serious nothing is that deep oh it's not that deep oh look sis it's not that deep if they didn't kill your mom if they didn't kill your, your siblings if they haven't taken your life it's not that deep learn to let go learn to let go of things that you cannot control that's a big one for us for all my control freaks it's okay it's okay let it go set yourself free let it go let it go let it go
The 16th thing I wish I knew as a, a young person <laughs> was to save, save, save. Don't spend everything you earn. Save, invest. Have some investments, guys. Even if it's 20 quid, 20 quid can become 20,000. Don't blow every single thing you have. I'm talking to my niece right now. Stop spending all your money, okay? Have a good time, live a soft life, but please be wise. Save your money. The reason why I'm able to spend is because I got money. I don't know what this other world are doing, but save your money. Don't spend it all. Become a saver. Take some classes on saving, on investing, and educate yourself. Don't spend all your money. Save. Put some money away. Put some money away. Put some money away. The 17th thing I wish I knew is that opinions are like assholes. Everybody has them, especially this age of the internet. Everyone thinks that they're a master at something. Everyone thinks that they have the right to speak on certain things. And it's like, shut up. Nobody cares. Nobody asked you for your opinion. Don't give unwarranted opinion. Nobody asked you i'm a very opinionated person that sometimes i'll be scrolling through instagram and i'm like okay <laughs> i'm like this person's an idiot but i'm not gonna write it like i'm not gonna write it my mama said if you ain't got nothing nice to say don't say it at all like don't like nobody asks your opinion so sharp like nobody cares and everyone has an opinion like everyone has an asshole so don't take what anyone thinks to heart unless they're someone that you actually value their opinion write it down a list of people who you value their opinion and put it in your purse and take it out every time someone tries to play you and be like, do I care about this person? Do I care about this person? No, so I don't care about your opinion. Here we are. <laughs> the 18th thing I wish I knew in my 20s is nobody cares, sis. Live your life, live your life. No one cares as much as we think that they care. Everyone's so wrapped up in themselves, they could care less. <laughs> Everyone's so wrapped up in their own eye to even care. So shoot that reel, post that reel, post that YouTube video, create, create that podcast. Do what needs to be done. Nobody's watching you that hard. Nobody cares. And those people that are watching you hard, they will run. They will start supporting you when everyone else starts supporting you because that's how fickle and shallow people are. So don't even mind them. My grandma would say, don't mind them. Pay them no mind. Know your business. I think thing I wish I knew in my 20s is to stand up for yourself in the name of being kind and being a nice, gentle, kind-hearted person. There were times I wouldn't stand up for myself. I would allow people to say whatever they wanted to say, talk to me anyhow, and let them get away with things. Even friends, even family, now I check them. Because when we think about bullies, the only time a bully can stop bullying you is when you check them back. And no, no, you're not no punk. Don't try and play me, baby. And there's been times recently that I had to, like even in friendships, like check them. Because people are gonna get away with what you let them get away with. But when you say, am I up? Check them. Stand up for yourself, don't be a pushover. Don't let people push you around, including yourself. And the 20th thing I wish I knew in my 20s is that young choices become adult problems. We look at people that are older and we're like, how that could never be me and that could very much be you if you don't make the correct choices today. <laughs> I was about to school you guys. You guys, use protection. If you're gonna sleep with that guy, make sure you strap up, make sure he's strapped up. There's guys out there these days pulling up condoms, trying to impregnate women, not even wearing a condom to begin with. And that's why no sex is the best sex, but be safe out here, okay? But I recognize and realize that you wanna do a hot girl summer? You wanna go to Dubai and get pooed on? You wanna have a dog F you in the, in the vagina? <laughs> This shit comes with consequences, guys. I'm not just talking about sex. I'm talking about every choice that you make in life comes with consequences. And understand that young choices become adult problems. You don't want to have those. Think ahead. Don't think about instant gratification. Think ahead. I'm always thinking ahead. If I do this right now, what is going to be the ripple effect? Think about the future. Don't think about temporary pleasure. Don't think about the money that you're going to see from this guy. Have some dignity. Have some self-respect. And love yourself. Love yourself enough to make the right decision for your life. And that is is all for today's video make sure you guys comment below what stood out for you the most even if you're not in your 20s even if you're in your 30s this is still sound advice this is advice that i'll still give to my people in their 30s 40s this is life advice and this is free game so comment below what your most important lesson in this video is make sure you guys the like button subscribe to this channel for more of this share it with your younger siblings share this with your cousins share this with your, with your aunts your uncles just share the video okay all right guys see you guys in my next video bye guys Oh, now I've got cramp in my leg. Oh, I'm too old. <laughs> I'm too old to cross my legs. Ah.